In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the easiest sugarcane farm that will get you sugarcane to turn into paper for trading, making books or bookshelves, or to use with gunpowder to make rockets for flying. Let's dive in. The materials you're going to need are here. Uh, we have some building blocks here, the glass, which you'll see where I use that. Those blocks can really be just about anything. Um, and then everything we need for the sugarcane, the redstone portion, um, and the storage collection and that sort of thing as well is all here for you to look at. Okay, so first we're going to go a few blocks up in the air here and we're going to start with our base of where our sugar cane is going to go. Now we can make this as wide as we want to. I'm going to go ahead and make it eight blocks wide. So we'll go out four in this way, four in this direction. Now to grow sugar cane, we do need water. So behind the system here, we're going to go ahead and just put some water that will hydrate our crops or basically for sugar cane, allow it to even exist in the first place. One bucket right there should do the trick. We can now actually plant our sugar cane and it sits there. It's good to go, right? So next above the water here, we're going to put a row of blocks just like that. We're going to put pistons facing this direction to break the sugar cane. And then we are going to have some observers facing in this direction to look at the sugar cane, look for it to grow. Next, we need to set up the redstone. This part's really easy. What we're going to do is we're going to put a block here, a block here. And then what's going to happen is whenever this observer sees this sugar cane grow up to this height, it's gonna send power to this block right here. And with a piece of redstone dust right here, this block will power that redstone us, making this piston go out. Same thing here, but just so we don't set off the whole line, we're gonna switch it, we're gonna alternate it. We're gonna put a block right here and that's it. We're gonna put a piece of redstone dust right here. Now, whenever this observer sees a piece of sugar cane grow up that high, it's gonna send a signal out to this redstone dust right here. That redstone dust will power this block and it will make this piston work. I can show you guys this by growing that. You see, it set it off. Growing that, see, it set it off. Now, if this one right here, it actually does technically power the one beside it as well. It's fine. It doesn't really create any extra lag. It doesn't really slow the farm down at all, so it's fine. So now we can take this little pattern. It's kind of repeat it just like this and then put redstone dust here and all of these slots right there, just like that. That's it. The redstone for this thing is all done. It's that easy. If you're enjoying today's video, help it get discovered by more people by clicking the like button and leaving a comment. Also, if you enjoy my videos, click the subscribe button, join my Discord channel, and become a channel member by clicking the join button. Members get awesome perks, including access to my members only Minecraft servers. Now, back to the video. Now we do need to keep our sugar cane in here, so maybe we'll do something like this where we kind of cage everything in. And we'll put some glass here. This would look great inset into some type of a wall and a cave or something like that. Basically, the system's really just made to go inside of your main base area for when you need some type of like sugarcane production all the time, but you never really need a ton of it, right? Next, we need to collect the sugarcane. So to do that, what we can do is we need to place a line of blocks right here for a hopper minecart to go down. And then anywhere, somewhere here in the middle, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a chest, say right here. We'll, we'll even do a double chest. Come around to the back side, knock out one of those blocks, and put a hopper facing into that, just like that. And run yourself a powered rail, regular rail, and then powered rails across, regular rail, powered rail. Power one side, power one side, power all of these however you like, and place yourself a hopper minecart down. Now what I'm gonna do just to simulate the crops growing faster, I'm gonna turn up the world's random tick speed so you can see what'll happen over time for you. As you can see, the sugar cane will grow, It'll get knocked down. The hopper minecart picks it up and it places it into the chest every single time it goes over this. As you can see, super simple, super easy to make. Doesn't take a lot of materials to do. Anybody can do this probably almost anywhere in their base and you can make it again, whatever size you would like to. If you enjoyed today's tutorial and would like to download this world, it's linked down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel, drop me a comment down below and I'll see you next time. Thank you.